Hi, welcome to Let's Get Mathy. Today's goal is to help you learn how to find the line of best fit in our value using Desmos.com's graphing calculator. So let's head on over to Desmos.com. And in our last lesson, you learned how to make a scatter plot. So today we're going to build off of that. So you can see I already have my data in here. You can see vaccine started, vaccines completed. Here's my first scatter plot, but notice there are no points graphed. That's because I have my graph turned off. So again, in Desmos, you'll see a circle here, and that is where you can turn the graph on, turn it off. You can change the colors again if you click and hold on it. So again, I need to adjust my x-axis to negative 5 and 150. And I saw the last time that my y-axis needs to go to about 3,500 to see the whole graph nicely there. So there's our scatter plot. But again, today's goal is to learn not how to make the scatter plot, but how to figure out what the line of best fit is and what is the corresponding R value? How good of a measurement or uh, how well do, do these uh, inputs and outputs correlate? And we'll talk a little bit more about that. So I need to add an expression. I'm just going to move that up to that data. So it's going to be a little bit different than typing in an actual equation because you have to get those subscript values in there. And it's very easy to do that in Desmos. That's why I'm a big fan is they have created it to make it user friendly. So you literally just type Y1 and it automatically comes down as a subscript number there. And then you're going to hit shift and the key right next to the number one gives you sort of half of the approximation sign. And then MX, you need to have the one there. And automatically, you can see that you have your line of best fit graph. I do need to do a plus B to get my Y intercept. So it will give us some information that is beyond the scope of Algebra 1. It's going to give us uh, R squared value, which we are not going to concern ourselves with. We are concerned with this R value right here. So we can see it's right in the middle, 0 0.5. So not a very strong uh, positive correlation. It's not, it's, uh, I don't even know if you consider that moderate. I Maybe moderately weak um, line of best fit there. And you can see here that we have M and B given. So our M is 10 or approximately 11, and our B is 260. And we're going to talk more in the next lesson about how we would interpret that. Again, today's lesson is specifically just how do we get these values from Desmos.com's graphing calculator. I want to repeat that process in the vaccines completed. So again, I'm going to turn off my vaccine started graph. And I'm going to go to my vaccines completed and turn that on. So you can see the graph is a little bit similar yet different. So let's go ahead and see what happens with the correlation here. So notice it's now no longer Y1, it's Y2. So if I was to work with another scatter plot, it'd be Y3, Y4, etc. So Y2 is approximately MX2 plus B. So we can see that we have a higher correlation coefficient of 0 0.67, 0 0.68. So that is, um, you know, definitely a moderate, a moderate uh, correlation value there. Moderately positive, I should say. And we can see here that we have a slope or M value of approximately 15 and a B value of negative 234. So again, today's goal was to learn how to make a line of best fit in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and also to have desmos.com calculate the r value for that line of best fit. The r value is known as the correlation coefficient. So we're going to follow this up with a little bit of practice on your own. I hope this helped you learn how to do these and Thank you for joining me at Let's Get Mathy.